This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, over Super Bowl weekend, there was some drama, drama, drama between Krishan Rock, Blueface, DDG, Halle Bailey, Ruby Rose, and of course, Rick Ross. So Blueface was dragging Krishan Rock all over Twitter because he was in his feelings because she went live with Ruby Rose. Listen to what Krishan had to say. I still love you for whatever the fuck it was. I don't love myself. Okay, you don't love no more, but... I think, yeah, so I said what I said. But yeah, we're on the way to the game. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just feel like Ruby just needs to clean some shit up because she already started something with that fucking clothes and shirts and shit. So, I'm like, you gotta go harder or home. Why did you say that? Did she get the... I'm gonna stay Hollywood though. This is not me. Yeah, I like you messy. I don't even know. Cause if that was blue. Straight shot, what? Posted. What? What are you saying? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why? Why? Why did you like this? But anyway, we're gonna have a fun game day. I'm gonna wrap to that ball. <laughs> Jay, what the fuck? Oh, you look pretty. Where you get that brown from? Let me get it. I mean, is this thing cute? But I can be. My boy. Um, I'm gonna retell really you where you at, boy. Yeah, but just know I know where my nigga at. Allegedly, Blueface is under the impression that Krishan Rock encouraged Ruby Rose to post a screenshot which exposed DDG trying to meet up with Ruby Rose. Allegedly, I'm just giving you guys the timeline of what happened. So for those of you that do not know this, Halle Bailey and Krishan Rock are friends. DDG and Blueface are friends. They go out together, they double date. So then Blueface started off by apologizing for Krishan via his Twitter. Then he started to drag Krishan. He said, y'all want to see how fake Rock is in real life? Watch this. Well, apparently he has been secretly recording Krishan, but we already know that. But for those of you who do not know, Blueface has been secretly recording Krishan. He has been recording their private conversations. So this is the first recording that he released. He said in his tweet that this is what she really thinks of her best friend, DJ Sky. She just uses her for rides. What a bummer. She's not positioned because me... If I'm a DJ and I'm chasing my dream, God's gonna send somebody to me. Put me in position. She's not positioned at all. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm getting to realize that you're not a good person at all. And the whole world is gonna be respecting you and take from me instead of you. You say it's all against me, but if you had a chance to go against me, you would. You feel me? You're not Jay, you're not going to come. She, she think, she think, you know, if 
I was your girlfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, and your boyfriend, girlfriend, what's the other way? I don't know, you know too. I'm like this because I'm spending the day and I can't, you're not a safe space for this bitch to write drunk. Like. <laughs> so then, after she walked away, I was rubbing in the gun grind, came back, came back to like, took a shot. She's like, did I do anything wrong? I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I, 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 I dug it down for her, but it's not really wrong to you. To be told, I'm using you just as much as you try to use me. To be honest, I'm gonna ride here and here. You know, pick me up, bitch. It's in for a moment, you pick me up, baby. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's like a, um, it's like a little bit of a picky, picky relationship. Like, it's not good. Krishan's response was, I gave Sky a $15,000 bracelet, F a car ride, I iced my friends out. Then she said that she has to talk about her friends like that in order for her to be allowed to hang out with them without Blueface getting mad and tripping. As for DJ Sky High's response, she seems really unbothered and it looks like she's going to be sticking by her friend and it looks like they talked about it, which I think is great. So then he says, I ain't going to be petty and say what she really thinks of Ruby Rose because she's with her right now. And if she's talking about her friend like that, that nobody is safe. So then he posted another video about Krishan allegedly talking about Bia. Just seven, six slides about the same shit. You're not talking about us? Okay, stop on it. 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 Okay, don't let me hear Krishan and put her on the song. Just put me where? Put me where? Who are you? <laughs> I didn't want to beat the bitch's ass. <laughs> and then they'd be confused why I slapped the shit out of them. What? Like, the whole night was just sad. Real shit. Like, bro, you cool, but you know you're not that cool. You know you're not that cool, bro. My mom, you know you're not that like, you talking like you, you put niggas on. Niggas push you on, you still ain't going where you still at 1.9. <laughs> Sorry, the numbers. <laughs> the numbers do the numbers. Like, you can't lie, you can't go against numbers. Bitch, you're, what are you talking about? <coughs> Say you did whatever, you did everything right, blah, 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 blah. I'm fucking myself surpassing this. Shut the fuck up and stop talking to me like, you feel me? Stop talking to me like that, bitch. Yeah, like this, what? You look at what's happening with that, that bitch that you try to be with, with me. Like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, I was like, I, I was gonna tweet something, and I'm like, fuck, it's gonna make me look like, it's gonna make me look like a, uh, what's it called? And you're like, it's gonna make me look like a sister wife. So I'm like, but like, I didn't even tweet this. But what? So I was like, I said what I said after the death of a nigga. You know what I really wanted to say? Like, bitch, come on, I'm gonna I don't even fuck with you, I don't even know you. And at this point, you just blew me. Fuck my boyfriend, fuck what I'm going through with him and his bitch. Like, fuck you. What the fuck is this coming out? It's like, why are you talking about? I better, bitch, you ain't put shit on. You ain't put shit on. You ain't put shit on. And then at the party, she tried to say what she said. You know? Bitch, I'm stepping right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> I asked her, like, I literally said, what are you talking about? Bitch, is so he posted a numerous tweets about Krishan, like I said, dragging her all over Twitter. Things got even more intense when Krishan posted their private messages. She explained why she took a picture with Rick Ross, that it wasn't that serious. He literally got a pic with her as she was walking by. She also confronted Blueface about inviting women that jumped her to his birthday party and then took pictures and let them dance up on him. Then Blueface threatened to expose Krishan by posting a private picture she sent him. Now, I don't really know what caused all of this, but what I do know is that Blueface was not invited to the Super Bowl, but Krishan was. 
Um, then Rick Ross took the picture that he then posted to his Instagram. So I don't know if somebody sent the picture to Blueface or if he follows Rick Ross. I don't know. But he was obviously upset by it because he sent the picture to Krishan and captioned it, could never be my B, laughing emoji. So Blueface could have had a problem with this picture because of the history that Rick Ross has with his ex-girlfriend Jiggy. I don't know. Krishan did say that the real reason that Blueface is mad is because she is invited to a lot of celebrity events and he is not. She also said that Ruby Rose is grown and she never told Ruby Rose what to do. She only gave her advice. She also said that Blueface is very prideful and that whenever she gets invited out to celebrity events, she invites him, but he doesn't want to go. So when she's out, she's very careful not to do things that will upset him and also trigger him. Krishan also exposed Blueface by posting this tweet here. She basically said that he pulled out her hair, so she had to cover it up with a tattoo. I believe that she's talking about her newest tattoo where she had to shave the side of her head. And she was saying she was putting a dove or something there. Now she's saying the reason that she was putting a tattoo there is because he had pulled her hair out. Now, there was a lot of talk about this, especially in my comment section. A lot of people were saying that that was the reason why she was getting that tattoo was because Blueface had pulled her hair. So now, basically, Krishan has confirmed that. All right, so what do you guys think about all of this? This is a very messy situation. What are your thoughts? Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.